Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Shanna Makes It. Today I'm going to be working with this cute card kit of the month from Spellbinders. This is actually from September of 2022. I haven't had a chance to work with it but this thing is adorable. It has um, kind of a crafting sewing theme um, with all the um, pieces that go with it. The chipboard and then the ephemera that goes with it. It has all of these different types of um, sewing and crafting. It has um, the embroidery hoops, if you want to use that, and then this really cute pad. So this is what I'm going to be working with today. I've got to make a birthday card that is coming up at the, here in the near future, and I thought I would work with this. And so I've done a little planning ahead, and I've got, um, I'll just lay these things aside. Um, I did check Spellbinders, and this kit is still available, so I will link it in the description box. Um, if you're interested in checking it out. But I did a little planning ahead and I, I cut out um, a piece of the paper and I did on this one, <clears throat> I cut it to um, four and a quarter by five and a half A2 size. It's gonna be my outside panel for my card. And then I took this one in to three and a quarter by four and a half. And then, um, and then for this one, I just used one of my A2 Matting Basics um, to cut it out. And it looks like it is um, two and a fourth by uh, three and three fourths, or th actually three and six eighths, I think. Anyway, um, so that's gonna go in the center there. And then I've chosen this piece of, actually, I'm not gonna use this one. I set this one out thinking I was gonna use it, but then I decided that I wanted to use, I didn't want this um, piece of fabric on it. And so in the chipboard piece, they actually have this one here that doesn't have any fabric in it. And I'm probably going to use these quilling squares as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start assembling my card and um, we'll see how it turns and out. I didn't have the um, actual stamp set out. This comes with a stamp and then also the die dies for that. But um, the stamp, it's got this so happy, for, it's your birthday, and I'm going to use that um, on it as well. So I thought I would show you that. And I may um, take this purple piece and run it through my embossing machine and put a little pattern on there just to give um, some dimension to it, because this is going to be a pretty flat card. Okay, so I have fallen in love with this 3D embossing folder from Spellbinders. And so I think I'm going to use it for my little piece of purple paper just to add some dimension to it. I think that'll be really pretty. So I'm just going to get my die cutting machine and um, run it through the machine and put a little pattern on there. Okay, so I'm getting my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine, laying it out, and then I'm going to take my platform and then I just use this um, mat that comes with it and I actually am going to need a piece of cardstock for a shim, and then I'll just lay my embossing folder um, with my paper. And I think I'm going to do it this way, even though I'm going to turn it the other way. Lay that in there, and then lay that on there, and then I'll just run this through a couple times. These 3D ones, um, the actual embossing plate that comes with it that doesn't quite work and I don't have the universal plate systems. So I just kind of wing it and put um, an extra shim in there and I think it should be enough. If not, we can add another sheet of paper, but it should be um, plenty to get that pattern on there. So, yep, it looks fabulous. So isn't that beautiful? I just love that, and I think that'll add some texture to the card. So let me get this die cutting machine out of the way, and then we'll start assembling and decorating our card. Okay, so I've got um, everything sitting there and ready to be um, laid down onto my card panel. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And I chose this one um, because this particular person does a lot of sewing and um, actually does a lot of quilting. And then um, in addition, she uses a mat just like this when she's cutting out her squares. So that's why I chose these particular um, patterns to use. <clears throat> and I'm just, oh, I'm getting stuck together there. And then I'm actually going to get my score buddy out because it just helps me in lining up my, my panels um, because I 
I'm not the greatest at that, so I wanna use all of my tools that I have available to help me with that. And we'll just get it laid down. And it looks like I may have to trim a little bit off the bottom of the card and then the edge of that, which that's no big deal. We'll get that cleaned up. And I'm just gonna keep, let's see, I guess I could trim that off now. I think I'll just use my Tim Holtz scissors to do that with. Because you can run, they're so long, you can run a pretty straight cut on them. So that's good. And then, um, actually got stuck. I must have some sticky on my scissors. I try not to use these for anything that gets sticky, but apparently I must have. Okay, so there, that's all trimmed up nice and neat. And then I'm going to lay this. This is like the cutting mat where you would cut your... Um, your fabric on and it's just um, both of these pieces are from the pa the pattern paper that comes with this kit um, and I I believe I said it's called so happy and there's just beautiful patterns in this that you can choose I just think it's lovely this is a really fun um, kit for crafters super cute this one's got you know all the different things on it just adorable um, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to make some other cards with it. Obviously, I've got the whole kit, so I definitely want to do that. So this one, I'm just going to kind of try to center it up as much as I can. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to lay the embossed panel down, which I think is super pretty. I love that lavender color. And that came, I believe that color came out of the kit as well. Um, you get nine pieces of cardstock in there along with all the things that you get. You get 10 cards and 10 envelopes, nine pieces of cardstock. I'm actually using my own card base that I cut out, um, but these are all the things you get in it. And this even has the little um, needle um, that you can thread, which is cool. And they give you some silver metallic uh, cardstock to use for that, but that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I guess in September I was busy and wasn't able to get around to um, using this, and now I'm just, well, I'm done with Christmas and Valentine's, and I'm just moving on to something a little more springy and fun, and so this is this is what I'm choosing to do. So I probably should have sprayed that cardstock maybe um, before I ran it through there just to ease it up a little bit. But I think I'm going to put this. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I've got a I've got a stamp sentiment that I'm going to put on there. I don't know if I want to center that. I'm just going to lightly lay that on there just for um, just to kind of eyeball it and see what I think. And then I have this sentiment here. Here, the stamp here that I think I'm going to use, and I'll stamp it on a different color and lay it on top of there. And I hope you'll still be able to see plenty of the the pattern of that. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and add some glue to it. It does have the sticky on the back, but I definitely want to add some glue just to make sure that it adheres because we've got those, you know, the raised panels, and so you need to kind of make sure you get, I'll just go all over and whatever hits the embossed pieces hits it and whatever it does, and I guess we'll just dry right up. So um, I'm trying to decide, I feel like maybe, I think I might offset that a little bit. I think that's what I'm gonna do is just offset that a little bit like that. And then I'll stamp this on a piece of probably white and um, then lay it down and we'll go from there. I've got my Misty out and I've just got a white panel here that I've got laying on my Misty and then I'm gonna take my stamp. So happy it's your birthday and I'm just gonna set it down on here because I will um, probably use one of my A2 Matting Basics to, to trim around it so that I can um, put it on there. So I'm just gonna lay that down and then I've got um, this Milled Lavender Distressed Oxide stamp that I'm going to use and it's um, just a lavender color and I think it'll blend nicely with the colors that I have on my card. 
so I'm getting it inked up there. Oh, and I don't like when I kind of make a mess on my, because sometimes it might get on the, so I'm just going to go around it and kind of clean it up. I really need to clean this misty. So I'm just going to lay it down and rub it. I may have to re-ink it just to make sure I get a really good one. These ink pretty well, but I'm going to go ahead and, because that sew part of it needs a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and, and re-ink this with my milled lavender, making sure I get that so happy part really good. And then just lay it back down. Boy, I really do need to clean that, it is dirty. I need to get one of those pressing tools. I'm gonna see, I think I mentioned in another video, I'm gonna see if my stepdad would like to make one. So I think that'll be all right, and I think it'll blend okay with the card. So go ahead and move the misty out of the way. And then I'm gonna grab my um, one of my A2 Matic Basics um, die cuts for this. And I will have to grab, I went ahead and put my, um, and I should have cut my inside cinnamon out of it. Boy, that's gonna be pretty big. Do I have one that's smaller? I don't know if this will fit or not. Oh yeah, that'll fit. Okay, so I'll probably use that size die and just die cut that off. I'll just go off camera that way. I don't have to drag the, die cutting machine back in and I'll um, and I'll cut this out and then we'll be able to add this to our card okay <clears throat> excuse me okay so um, I went off and I um, die cut that out so happy it's your birthday and I'm thinking it's gonna go down here and then while I did that um, I thought gosh there's so much so much cute ephemera that comes with this and so I just kind of dug through and found some things that I thought would be super cute. I don't want to get too crazy and go overboard, but I do have the inside of the card as well and the envelope that I can add some of this to. So what I was thinking is, um, I definitely want, I had previously mentioned, I think that I was going to use the die cut uh, um, quilting pieces, but I like this color much better for it. Um, it just blends with it. The other ones were more of a black. And so I was thinking I would, maybe put that on the corner and then um, I also really liked this little um, pin cushion I thought that was super cute and it kind of pulls the color same color pattern that's in that so I thought maybe I'd add that and then the scissors um, and hopefully that's not too busy I just think it's there's just so many cute elements so let me know if you think that is too busy I think that's how I'm gonna go but I um, would welcome your opinion um, whether or not you think it's too busy and we'll get this laid down and then we will um, I should have stamped this inside sentiment on this um, but we'll do that and then we'll add some of these pieces to the inside of it so let's go ahead and get these laid down I think um, with this I'm probably need a little bit of maybe a little bit of uh, foam tape or some dimension or something to actually I might just cut um, a piece of the cardstock to kind of fit the bottom of that. And then um, that way it'll lay because it's it's going to be on different layer there. So I think I'm going to need to add some cardstock to that so that it will lay flat and it won't kind of stick or kind of lay wonky or whatever on there. So I'll probably just put some of that along the bottom of this and then I'll just nudge it up next to it so that it'll lay flat. That'll just help my card to be, won't be bendy. I'm just gonna do that first. Try to get it pretty even. And then I'll just add some glue to this. And then I'm just gonna nudge that edge right up along the bottom of that so that it'll kind of be the same level. And hopefully I'm over far enough to add my pin cushion. Let's see how that looks. I need to move it over a little bit, give myself some room. Oop, my little piece stuck and it doesn't want to move, so I'll move it first, move it over a little bit. And then I'm gonna, whoops, I'm just gonna have to add some more glue to it. Having some crafting issues here, but we all do, so we gotta work through them, figure out what works and what doesn't. Just add some more glue. All right, I was over too far. So we'll do that.
clean that up a little bit and then I can lay down. Let's see, I might wanna put, um, I'll just use a foam dot for that just to kind of make it stand up a little bit. I think that'll be cute and add some more dimension to the card. Hopefully it's not too high. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put two of them on here. Just kind of do it like that. I think that'll be cute. Add a little bit more dimension. And then I'm just gonna lay my scissors flat, I think. Oops, and what sticks sticks and what doesn't will dry. Get that off of there. So that looks good. This is so cute, I love this kit. Um, like I said, I will link it in the description box so you can check it out, because it is still available. And I think I noticed that you can just buy pieces, parts of it, and so you don't have to buy the whole kit. Because the kits can be a little bit pricey, but man, they really are a good value um, for it. So that's what I've got for the outside. Um, hopefully it's not too busy. I like it, I think it's really cute and it's representative of the type of crafting that she does. And then I thought I would just lay this on the inside, but we're gonna need to stamp our sentiment first so that I don't have to um, try to maneuver that. So I'm gonna remove my um, so happy it's your birthday stamp and clean it up and put it away. And then I had planned to use this stamp here that says, you make this place a more beautiful, this world a more beautiful place. I think that's a perfect sentiment. So I'm going to use it. Hopefully I'm in, am I in frame? I need to get in frame. Sorry if I was not in frame. I actually moved my mat up a little bit just because the lighting and the um, it's a sunny day today, which I'm not complaining about at all because it, it's, um, you know, it is winter in the Midwest and it's ugly. So I'm so happy for the bright sunshine. In fact, I'm waiting a little bit and then I'm going to go on a walk. I I'm going to try and get a 30 minute walk in because it's a beautiful day. I think it's supposed to be about 51. So I'm really happy about that. Um, where's my milled lavender? Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and, um, actually I'm not sure that milled lavender will show up on the inside on that purple paper. So I'm gonna use my, um, nope, I don't want that one. Let me just grab my other stamp pad and I'll be right back. My Memento Black, uh, Tuxedo Black ink that I will use for this and it will show up very nicely on the purple. So I didn't wanna use that other because I don't think it would show up. So, and I'm kind of making a mess out of my craft table. I need to stamp that more before I even lay that down. I can I can see that it needs, there we go. Now we're getting it. Okay, and I'm gonna clean that off just cause I don't wanna run that piece of paper. Sorry about the noise. There we go, got that. Yep, I'm gonna stamp it again cause I want it to be good and dark. I think the A, the little A over there, we gotta get it stamped a little bit better. Doesn't look like it stamps up very well. All right, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so I think that'll work. That'll look good. So I'll get this out of the way, get my card back over here, figure out where I want to put this. Um, Actually, I had some scrap of the that I cut off of this that I was thinking about putting on here, but maybe I'll save that for the envelope. And I'm wishing now that I had stamped that differently. I should have just put it more toward the middle. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm going to take um, one of my other A2 matting die, dies and cut that down a little bit because I'm, I'm not liking that that is clear at the top, but I think I can pull it off. Uh, I don't want that one, I want a longer one. Give me a minute okay. to find that. So I did not like the size of that. I should have basically stamped more in the middle of that, so I wasn't really that happy with it. Um, and I really can't use that because it's going in, the di in a different direction unless I did something like this, but I don't think I need to do that. 
So I think what I'm going to do is just um, kind of put this on here. I don't know. I feel like I want something. I don't know. The outside is pretty busy already. And I need another layer of some sort for that. Just trying to decide. I don't know, that could be cute. Like that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Once I get those added, I like that better. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll just lay this down. Um, I'm just going to use my tape runner. Um, and get it laid down. I think that'll look nice. I like that. I'm just gonna kinda come in here. I need to move it over just a little bit. Try and get it level. Hopefully my head's not in the way and that you can see what I'm doing. I'm not standing up and I normally stand up, so that helps me to better keep it in frame, but I think it'll be all right. That's cute, and the reason why I'm adding this is in addition to making quilts, um, usually when she makes a baby quilt, she makes a baby toy to go along with it, and so I felt like this piece needed to be added. Um, plus, it kind of coordinates with what's on the front, too, so I thought that would be super cute. And then I'm just adding these buttons just because they're fun, and it kind of brings some more color in. So I think this will be a super, super sweet card. And it's, it's very, uh, I guess, customized toward the person that I'm giving it to. So um, I really like it. I think it's cute. It might be a little busy because we've got a lot of different patterns going on there. But um, it does represent um, exactly what I wanted it to represent. So I hope you like it. If you do, um, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. And certainly check out that Spellbinders kit because it is just really beautiful. I'm going to do some more cards with it. Um, so I should have some other videos that um, represent this kit. So I hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.